All right. Did it send you the notification? Yep. All right. Sure did. Whenever you are ready. All right. I'm turning my clock on here so I can have an idea what's going on. This is Sam Custer, Extension Educator, Dark County. And I am going to visit with you a little bit about our manure side grass trials that we held here in Dark County in 2019. So the objective of our work is to continue to evaluate that effectiveness of swine manure versus commercial fertilizer on both an economic and environmental perspective. We've been doing this for several years now and we continue to fine tune some of the work we're doing with that. So in our trials, we have uh, three replications where we are uh, leaving strips uh, untreated with the swine manure and we come back in that same day or the next day and do an application of typically UANA, UAN 28% uh, at the same nitrogen level. So we balance those treatments uh, using the nitrogen. The treatments are typically done at V3 growth stage. That's where we were in 2019. In 2018, we were a strong V4, if, if not the V5 stage. This work all came about from some tanker research that we started here in Dark County back in 2013. Uh, you can see some of the work here, and I'll just play a little bit of the video uh, as we go here. Turn the volume off. So we began doing this work uh, with tankers just to see what we could do with this uh, manure application versus uh, commercial fertilizer at side dress. So you can see it's moving through the field here at this V2, V3 corn uh, with the tankers. So we know we have a tremendous amount of compaction. So at no time were we looking at this as being a sole practice that we would do across uh, farms uh, with manure application. It was just to see if, if we could get that same kind of yield out of this. And, and even though we had uh, a tremendous amount of compaction, our yields were very comparable, and they backed up the data that Glenn Arnold, nutrient management specialist, uh, found at uh, the OARDC branches up in, in Northwest. So in a five-year period of time, you can see that uh, when Glenn did these treatments pre-emergent and post-emergent, the yield difference between incorporated and uh, UAN incorporates fine manure. About uh, 16 to 19 bushels difference uh, during that time period. When we look at the application between a surface applied and a uh, incorporated, you can see almost a 26, 27 bushel difference. So from these trials, we know that uh, the swine manure will work, uh, especially if we incorporate it. That a tremendous difference uh, with that incorporation. So in 2014 here in Dark County for the first time anywhere in the world we believe we did these uh, side dress applications using a drag line hose uh, to directly incorporate um, the manure and you can see as we move through here this was V3 corn um, in northwestern part of Dark County uh, we were moving along here at this time, uh, probably four or five miles an hour, a little faster than what they would like to do, but uh, they were using a guidance system. This was uh, an eight row unit at this point in time. Today we've moved to a, a 12 row unit, but you can see uh, we're using this. Our goal is to, to cover up uh, that manure. Uh, as you can see, we got a pretty good cover up here at an application of about 6,000 gallons per acre. So how did our trials turn out in 2019? We had uh, two different farmers that we worked with. So you can see here on uh, our site one, um, we had a yield difference of uh, almost 17 uh, bushels per acre. I guess that's not 17, 20 some bushels per acre. You can see uh, uh, out here on the yield difference, we always find that our moisture is about a point higher with swine manure versus 
uh, the 28%. I think that a lot of that comes to just a healthier plant with all the micronutrients. On our site two, uh, our results weren't quite as good. Uh, here we had a lot of trouble with uh, sideways movement on the toolbar. Uh, the way we had things set up, we were, we were plowing out some corn. But at this site in 2018, we had a 17 bushel difference. So how do the numbers look over our uh, six year period of time? Uh, you can see those here. So we've got uh, a six year average of about 17, a little over 17 bushel the acre better with uh, the dragline swine manure over the commercial fertilizer uh, for about a $157 advantage per acre. So we're very comfortable with making the recommendation to go to swine manure as a nitrogen side dress source. Thank you. If you have any questions, make sure that you contact us.